Okay, here we are on page 176, number 18. Find the probability. All right, so we're finding, okay, we got gymnast. Certain routine probability that she'll perform it correctly, 0.65, independently of all other occasions. All right, so find the probability she'll perform the routine correctly, 5 out of 7. So we've got trials, and we've got a hit or miss kind of situation, two outcomes. Either she does it correctly or she doesn't. So this seems like it's going to be a binomial situation. So let's go ahead and put our information together. We get seven trials, and we want to know the probability of getting exactly five correct. Well, if it's a binomial distribution that meets all the requirements, there are seven trials, and, the, and then P is going to be 0.65. That's a probability of a success. All I got to do is plug in the formula and just do it for five, and I find out the probability is going to be about 2.98. Now in part two, it says that she performs this same thing 50 times. And they want us to use a pseudo approximation to estimate the probability. Again, when you see that, they're begging you to take this binomial and, and approximate it with a normal distribution. All right. So what we're going to have is, hang, hang on, wrong stuff. Get rid of that. All right. We've got the number of trials, 50, and it's a binomial distribution, 50, probability of success is 0.65. It does meet the criteria. If I multiply them together, it's going to be bigger than 5. And so um, 50 times 0.65, that's going to give me my mean, my expected value, n times p. So that's 32.5. And then if I multiply that total times the probability of failure, I'm going to get my variance, which is 11.375. And that's all the information I really need. Now I'm just going to standardize it. So I want to find out the probability that V is less than 29. So I take what I'm interested in, 29, but I remember to make the continuity correction. So it's less than 29, but it doesn't include the 29. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use 28.5. The number I'm interested in is going to be 28.5, and then I'm going to take away that from the mean, 32.5, divide that by the square root of the variance. And see, now all I've got to do is do that math, and I find out that I get z is going to be less than negative 1.186. Well, of course it's going to be negative. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like. It's less than, and so this is the area I'm trying to get. So my table does go to the left, but it only has positive numbers. So if I go over here and take its symmetrical brother, and I need this area. Well, that's going to be 1 minus the probability of z being less than 1.186. Go to the table, find the probability of 1.186 is 0.8822. Subtract it from 1, and you get that answer. All right, so part 3, find the smallest value for n for the expected number of correct performances is at least eight. All right. So first, for part three, we're still dealing with a binomial situation. Um, we want to find it to be correct at least eight. We're asking basically for the expected value, which all we've got to do is take the number of trials times the probability of success. That's going to be n times 0.65. We want it to be greater than or equal to 8. So now all I'm going to do is get that n by itself. 8 divided by 0 0.65 is going to be 12.3. Well, if it's going to be 12.3, then the smallest n to make this work is going to be 13. All right. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.